And now, your first alert weather. So as expected, we've been picking up on some clouds today and some light rain and snow. We're really not getting slammed here with a major winter storm, more of an inconvenient storm, especially because we're going to be dealing with some slick conditions out there tomorrow with some snow and some ice. We've got 32 degrees right now in Idaho Falls. No wind at the airport. Cloudy with a few flurries and flakes. Moving over to Pocatello, the Farm Bureau Sky Cam, we got 32 degrees. Winds out of the northwest at 8. Feels like 25 with the wind chill. And we've been seeing steady snow in Jackson this evening. Still got some snow right now. Live look at the webcam here at 89 and uh, Highway 22. We got 21 right now in Jackson. No wind at the airport there in Jackson. But we are seeing more snow starting to trickle into the region. And as temperatures drop tonight, we'll have more of this rain and this wintry mix turning back over to snow as temperatures get into those low 30s and upper 20s. You got quite a bit of wet weather heading into the higher elevations, and it's a bit of a mess on I-15 getting over Monida Pass. That's pretty typical. Plus, we're also getting some snow in the south end of Island Park. Some lightly scattered snow showers, just enough to get us in trouble with the road conditions. And rain getting in out of the Magic Valley, and you can start to see some of that rain trying to turn over to snow. It's that light blue there on the map. So we have one storm system that is dying down. We have another storm system waiting in the wings. This is the California storm that's currently overhead, the one that hit last night and created all that havoc you saw in the national news. The area of low pressure that was driving the system has gone up into Mon has gone up into, uh, excuse me, Washington State, the Pacific Northwest, and it's dissipated, so it's not really a threat anymore. We're just getting the leftovers here. We have another system coming in for Sunday and Monday of next week, and that also will push in warmer temperatures and that rain-snow mix, which we can see here on Vipercast tonight. You see some green. You see some pink there on the map and then going through tomorrow morning there's a good chance of some snow to get the day started so heads up we'll see spotty snow showers for friday morning but we quickly clear out from the snow by the afternoon for most of us we'll still have some afternoon snow showers near the wyoming state line then we're looking at a quiet saturday saturday the clouds will thin out We'll see partly cloudy conditions on Saturday. More clouds and snow on the way for Sunday. In fact, a wider view. I want to show you that the next system will start to push in its wet weather as we get into Sunday evening through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. And again, this is heading out of the southwest. So we're again looking at rain, snow, a wintry mix, everything in between. Talk about the snowfall amounts here for tonight. Nothing very impressive. The snowfall amounts are looking rather low. Now, we've jumped it up to about two to four inches in Idaho Falls, but I think that might be pushing just a little too much because, again, we're factoring in some rain to that. So rain and snow. Temperatures will be in the low 30s throughout the day here, with a normal high would be at 28 degrees, not too far off from the seasonal average. 35 for the expected high in Preston tomorrow, with 33 in Soda Springs, and we got temperatures at 34 for Lava. Now moving into the Upper Valley, temperatures at 34 for Rexburg, 34 also in Jackson, with 33 in Island Park. Jackson's eight-day forecast: spotty snow tonight and through Friday, with partly mostly cloudy skies Saturday and Sunday. Now next week, temps into the 30s, very close to 40 as we get into Tuesday with a shot of more snowy conditions. Rexburg, rain and snow here for your Friday. We have more of that wet weather Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, mostly Sunday evening to more towards Monday and Tuesday, and temperatures will be in the 30s to get the week started. Central Idaho, 33 for Chouse, 34 for Salmon. It's been pretty chilly in the valleys of central Idaho, but we're actually looking at numbers increasing here for your Friday and Saturday. Not a lot of snow, though, in Salmon. It's going to be... Fairly cloudy, but we don't see a ton of wet weather. Temps here in the mid-30s for Monday, the upper 30s by Tuesday. For Rigby, high of 34. Same for Idaho Falls. We should be close to 40 for Pocatello tomorrow with a high of 39. And we're getting to 35 in Blackfoot. Blackfoot's eight-day forecast numbers into the upper 30s moving through into next week with a chance of more rain and snow showers. We'll see temperatures stuck in that same weather pattern all the way towards next weekend. The atmospheric river will continue, and it looks like we still have that mild flow coming in due west. Pocatello, 39 for Friday, 40 for the high Saturday and Sunday. Pocatello leaning towards more rain, obviously, with those warmer temperatures, and we have the low mid-40s in play for Monday and Tuesday. Idaho Falls, your eight-day forecast, 34 degrees tomorrow. Just a touch above freezing, mid-30s for Saturday, mid-30s for Sunday. More wet weather on the way, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, continuing even to a bit of Wednesday for next week. In all of this, there's no major snowstorms coming through. I mean, we might need the snow shovel once or twice out there in the coming days. Uh, but, Todd, this is just kind of one system after another out of the west. 
Not a lot of cold air coming yeah, through. Yeah, I was going to say, we, you're not seeing the super cold that we had a couple weeks ago. Yeah, this is just because we're keeping that constant pattern from the west coast. And so there's no real time to see the numbers fluctuate greatly like we typically would get in the middle of winter. You know, you get those really cold days yeah. after a storm. Okay, all right, Michael, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Coming up, as many people in Idaho Falls are dealing